guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about fat. When do you increase it? Do you decrease it? Anything you want to know will be in this video. All right guys, so we're, we're talking about fat. Now, if you're a member of my free Facebook group, Keeping It Keto with Felicia Nurse, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're not part of that group, go in, join it. It's interactive. I'm on there every single day. You have an amazing support group there, guys. So head on over. I will put the little group name right here in case you can't find it. At least you can visually see it. All right, moving forward. In this group, I did post a comment that said that you don't need to eat as much fat when you're adapted. Let me clarify my statement. When you are keto adapted, which technically means that your body produces ketones and uses them for fuel and uses body fat as energy instead of the glucose, you do not need fat bombs in abundance. That is what I was meaning to discuss and it just, it, it was a little blunt and ambiguous so I just wanted to elaborate. Fat bombs are wonderful because you can get added fat into your diet without the protein, right? But the problem is a lot of the fat bomb recipes are all about cream cheese and again, the cheeses. Now, cheese is great. A lot of people can handle it on keto. I personally cannot. Any kind of dairy is a total staller for me. I'm very sensitive to casein. And if you don't know what casein is, just look it up because that's a whole other video. But a lot of people cannot have a lot of cheese, dairy, and that in itself can affect getting adapted, staying adapted, getting your glucometer, if you use one, into the proper range. And I feel once you're adapted, and even before you're adapted, the, the main fats that you guys should be eating are saturated fats, monosaturated fats, and some poly. So here we go. What I would like you guys to recognize is when you are hungry and you are in need of fat, or if your macros are just slightly low on fat, dive into an avocado, guys. They're high in fat. Yes, they have fiber. The amount of fiber in them really allows the uh, carbs to hit your bloodstream really slow, and by then, it's not a big issue. So an avocado every day is not an issue. Don't be afraid of them, too. I want you guys to seek out animal protein and animal fat, the good fat on animal products. Steak fat, pork fat, chicken fat, even fish has, there's fatty fish. Those are the kinds of fats that I would like you to steer in that direction, especially when you're adapted. All right, then we're gonna move on to oils and we have coconut oil and we have olive oil and we have avocado oil and we have MCT oil. Those in conjunction with the animal fats, the avocados, we have olives, but again, or maybe not again, I don't even think I said it, our body can't just adapt and stay in ketosis on one kind of fat. So we can't just survive on coconut oil and make ketones. We have to have a little bit of each. So again, avocados, animal fats, the oils, all of these things included in your diet will keep you from having those cravings and the need for a fat bomb. Eating cream cheese is, for some people, okay. For most, it's not. And I, I just, I feel like it's unnecessary because we want to soak our body in natural, unprocessed foods. And even though cream cheese is predominantly milk and such, there's still added things in there and it definitely can cause a stall, especially with casein. So when you're adapted, yeah, you have to still eat your fat because keto is a, a primarily a fat diet, right? We want at least 80% of our calories in, and percentages in a day to come from fat. But the good fat, not the concocted, you know, cream cheese and fruit. Some people are adding strawberries into their cream cheese. Some people are adding sugar-free jello. No, no, chemicals. So when you're hungry, right, Reach for a fat, but do it in the right way. Don't don't concoct a processed thing. Yes, I have videos on how to make cake, cream cheese, and whatnot. That is for like a treat, not to have one every day, not to have a cake every day, not to have a fat bomb every day. You know, sometimes I see people saying they eat one or two fat bombs every day. No, 
not the fat bomb with added stuff in it. If you need to have some coconut oil added, throw it, cook with it, put it on top of some food. Butter, you guys know, Kerry Gold, butter. Best butter you could buy, throw some butter on it. Um, again, keeping your proteins moderate. Again, with the animal protein, you can become a little bit overabundant in protein, but the fat that goes along with that protein is what I'm talking about. Bacon, the grease, save it. You can put it in a container on your stove. You don't even need to refrigerate it. It's not a big deal. Some people like to refrigerate it, whatever. Use that fat. Use that fat. Take a little bit of spinach, saute it in some bacon grease. Bam. If you're hungry at night, take a little bacon grease, put it on something and eat it. Those are the kind of fat. So when you say fat bomb, guys, make it a true fat. A fat bomb could be a spoonful of bacon grease. Eat it. I know, it sounds gross. But that's what a fat bomb should be, right? Not something with added fruit and sugar-free jello that has chemicals and NutraSweet and Splenda and all that garbage in it. Keep your fat high, your protein moderate, your carbs low, but choose the proper kinds of fats. Those of you who are in a stall, it could be your protein. Yes, it does have uh, good fat in it, but again, it has the casein in it, guys, and so many of you are, are prone to stalling out with that. Look up the word casein, see what it means. I can't get into it in this video. Um, and that's pretty much it in a nutshell. But you do need fat. It, don't, don't take the statement I wrote as not needing fat. You do need fat, but you don't need the junky fat. Does that make sense? I don't know. I hope so. Uh, if you have any questions, leave the comments and questions below. Uh, feel free to ask me anything. You guys know I'm an open book in regards to the post last night about that crazy person. Oh my God. Your support means so much to me. I just didn't post it looking for uh, empathy or sympathy or any of that stuff. I just, I need to keep myself transparent with you guys and when somebody gets blocked or booted you know I don't post their name but I will let you know that they somebody was blocked and the reason why because I really want to keep the group tight and loyal and there should be no secrets and I just I felt like it was necessary plus you know being from Jersey I got a little bit of not a temper but I'm not gonna take crap so if you're gonna feed me crap and accuse me of things that are not true bye. all right that's it for today guys short but sweet I love you all thank you for watching and again if you have any questions or need elaboration on anything leave a comment below um, your best way of getting answered is to leave the comment here, not so much in the group because it can get intertwined and the comments or questions regarding this video, leave them below here. So, all right. Anyway, hope you all have a great day. Find me on all my social media. The links will be at the end of the video and um, I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye guys.